Snorkeler finds fake skeletons underwater sitting in lawn chairs. When it comes to snorkeling, I just have to pass on this experience. I'm not a huge fan of water, and I'm even less of a fan of being in the water in a tight, confined space swimming towards the unknown. Recently, a person was snorkeling in Parker, Arizona, and they went for a dive near the Cienega Springs boat ramp, which is on the Colorado River. Their dive was cut short when they made a startling and gruesome discovery, because the discovery scared them so much. They ended up calling the La Paz County Sheriff's Department to investigate rather than looking into it on their own. The snorkeler ended up finding two skeletons who were both seated in lawn chairs. Was this a prank or a grave discovery of two people who suffered an untimely death? When the La Paz Sheriff's Department arrived at the scene, they ended up dispatching a diver from Buckskin Fire Department to investigate further. While the Sheriff's Department was involved, this ended up not being a crime scene at all. They were all fake skeletons sitting in lawn chairs having a cup of tea. The skeletons in chairs were covered in algae and rested against some rock that had settled on the floor of the lake. One of the skeletons was even holding a sign that said, Bernie living the dream in the river August 16th. We can only assume this is a reference to the hilarious movie Weekend at Bernie's. Although the call itself was resource intensive, both the sheriff's office and Buckskin Fire were happy to find that the remains weren't real and thanked the reporting party for making the call. La Paz Sheriff's Department mentioned on their Facebook page. Check out the video from the Buckskin Fire Department below showing the entire rescue and recovery mission. Although it resulted in a complete waste of resources, this is a pretty hilarious and elaborate joke that someone decided to play. I can only imagine how scared the snorkeler was when they came across two fake skeletons sitting in lawn chairs having a tea party. The sheriff's department has decided not to pursue the person behind this prank and have actually put the two skeletons on display outside of their station to keep the prank going.